Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, RockAuto.com, and State Farm. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week 92. We're glad to have you with us. This week, we're going to look at a vehicle that a lot of people have been asking us about, the new Jeep Grand Cherokee. Rarely has a single vehicle been so anxiously awaited by both the industry and public alike. The Grand Cherokee must do more than just maintain Jeep's position in the hotly contested sport utility market. It must also win buyers back from the best-selling Ford Explorer. And then there are a host of new import competitors to consider. Is the Grand Cherokee up to the task? It is on the outside. The Jeep designers were smart enough to retain the key styling elements that have always made the compact Cherokee so distinctive. Then they added smooth aerodynamic curves to give this longer, taller version of Jeep's classic 4x4 a thoroughly modern appearance. The sleek yet rough and ready look should appeal to both serious off-roaders and the affluent family buyers that are the main customers for sport utility vehicles. That same styling theme carries over to the inside. Our Grand Cherokee Laredo's interior is quite contemporary, but it retains just enough of its predecessor's squared angles and flat surfaces to remind you that this is a 4x4. It also offers the only driver's side airbag in the sport utility class. The dash features a very practical layout. Controls are well marked and easy to reach. Fit and finish is also top notch. There's plenty of comfort as well, thanks to the Laredo's supportive seats and standard tilt wheel. These well-padded buckets are far superior to those found in the old Cherokee. They face a full set of analog gauges that, like the Cherokee, are efficient and easy to scan. Controls for the optional cassette stereo are improved, and the high dash position is much more convenient than the badly buried radios of many 4x4s. Heat and ventilation controls are as simple as they get. There are just three well-marked rotary dials and an AC button. We also like the handy cup holders and deep storage box on the center console. Rear seat room is similar to that of a Ford Explorer. There's plenty of headroom, and legroom is sufficient for all but the tallest adults, and the split seat folds to create a large flat cargo space. However, the somewhat narrow Grand Cherokee has about two and a half cubic feet less total cargo space than an Explorer and the spare tire mounted back there takes up a lot of room. Jeep says they kept width down and the spare inside for better off-road maneuverability. While Jeep touts the Grand Cherokee as being all new, one thing isn't. It's Jeep's fuel-injected four-liter inline six-cylinder engine. But that's fine with us. We love its 190 horsepower and strong 220 pound-feet of torque. It will push over 3,600 pounds of Grand Cherokee from 0 to 60 in a brisk 9.8 seconds. The quarter mile takes 17.3 seconds at 82 miles per hour. We expect even better from a 5.2 liter V8, which will become available this fall. Jeep's inline six is a bit rougher than Ford's V6, but offers more of the sort of low and mid-range power delivery that sport utility owners demand. Our test vehicle came equipped with the standard five-speed manual transmission. It's a touch notchy, but lighter and more accurate than anything that the competition has to offer. A four-speed automatic is optional. But four-wheel anti-lock brakes are standard. They stop the Grand Cherokee from 60 in an average distance of 126 feet. Hard braking delivered the sort of nosedive and wander that we expect from 4x4s. But the power and feel of these brakes even beats that of many top-line family sedans. Grand Cherokee's unique Quadralink suspension was designed to please all sport utility buyers. It succeeds. Our test drivers didn't experience the nervous, top-heavy feel that we expect from this class of vehicle. Plentiful grip and responsive power steering helped give this tall Jeep an almost sedan-like character. Rear coil springs deliver a highway ride that is also very car-like. And interior noise measures are reasonable for this class 70 decibels. Fuel mileage is EPA rated at 16 city, 21 highway. We got 19 miles per gallon. And that's all just on road. On a recent off-road excursion in Texas, the Grand Cherokee delivered all the grip and agility that we've come to expect from Jeeps. The standard part-time shift on the fly four-wheel drive system is actuated by simply pulling a lever on the center console. And a dash-mounted display reminds you of what drive mode you're in. 
tough Goodyear Wrangler tires wrapped around optional 15-inch alloy wheels put the power down even in loose dirt. 8.2 inches of ground clearance and increased wheel travel from the flexible coil spring suspension also helped keep the Jeep off-road reputation intact. Buyers who favor an automatic transmission get to choose from a wider range of four-wheel drive systems, including Jeep's new full-time QuadraTrack, which instantly puts traction where it's needed. And it won't cost you an arm and a leg. Grand Cherokee starts at $18,980. Our Laredo carries a base price of $20,125 and adds up to $20,472 with options. Our list of hits is long for the Grand Cherokee. It starts with the eye-catching styling. Then there is the comfortable, efficient interior with its standard airbag and strong, flexible drivetrain. We also like the crisp handling, fine highway ride, and superior off-road performance. Misses are few. There's the engine's somewhat rough character, a tendency to wander under hard braking, and reduce cargo space from storing the spare tire inside the vehicle. If it sounds like we're enthusiastic about the Grand Cherokee, it's because we are. Jeep rose to the challenge presented by its formidable competitors and produced what may well be its best vehicle ever. Now it's up to every other manufacturer to go back to the drawing board and come up with a design as versatile and balanced as the Jeep Grand Cherokee. We'd say that they've got their work cut out for them.